Yes, it is that time. Pinball parts or not, everybody. Um, I wasn't planning on doing this for a couple days because this box was not supposed to come until Friday. And it's Wednesday. And I want this box really bad. So it's Wednesday, December 28th at 5.36 p.m. Central Standard Time. How cold is it outside? We got actually a heat wave going on right now. Uh, it says it's 39, and I think tomorrow it's supposed to be up to be like 50, which is crazy. Oh, you want to see Hot Wheels? Everybody wants to see Hot Wheels. This is Superstar without a play field. I think it will turn on. Mm -hmm. If I plug it in. Ah, it's pretty, isn't it? That's all it does. It's got no play field in it. Everything's been rebuilt, but no play field. If you've been watching TVMGC and my uploads to YouTube from TVMGC, you would have uh, seen me do a full rebuild on that. But yeah, I just got to put bulbs, the rest of the bulbs in ahead and the glass and put the play field in. After I do a couple little baby things to the play field. Waiting for the Hot Wheels jam to come on. Hot Wheels! Want to see something really cool? Watch the screen right after this one. Isn't that cool? That is sweet. That is sweet. I wish there was more to that song. All right. Pinball parts or not, that's what you're here for. This one. Pinball parts or not. I know exactly what this is. This is a wrench. It's actually a craftsman wrench. <clears throat> this is a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. In 11 30 second, let's take this wrapper off. I can go in the garbage. It is. Focus. There we go. It's 11.30 seconds. There's the part number. If you need it, 44 or 692. Um, I have this. What do you call it? The nut driver of this, but I don't have this wrench for some odd reason. Um, I'm probably going to order another one to put in my toolkit. I don't have this size, and it's like a popular pinball size. And sometimes I would rather just put a little wrench on it to tighten it up instead of using the nut driver. So. I have a ton of wrenches and I do not have one of these actually. It is crazy. Why don't you have 11 30 second wrench? Even out of all the wrench kits that I have bought, this is not one of them. Just odd size, I guess. Really odd. Alright. This one. Pinball parts or not. <laughs> I know what it is. Anybody watch YouTube? Well, I watch a guy called Eric Surf Six. He lives in Japan, and he um does a lot of um 
Japanese vending machine food tasting. It's Eric Surf 6, number 6. And um, he was trying some Ch Ch Japanese food, and he said he was putting some of this on it. So I'm like, oh, that kind of sounds, from you know, delicious. He said it's really good for fried food. There's instruction uh, uh, ingredients. So if you want to um, pause and see what it is, I don't know what it's. He didn't really describe what it tastes like, but he put it. He said it was good on fried food. So I bought a couple other things that he has tried, and I'm like, huh. It is good. Next is the box. Box is what I really, really been waiting for. So we got the wrench, the bulldog sauce. Yeah, try it, Mark. Tell us what it tastes like. From what I could smell on the outside before opening it, it smelled kind of like Worcestershire sauce. It kind of, kind of does taste like Worcestershire sauce, but it doesn't have that um Worcestershire, Worcestershire shark. Shire, sure, something. It does got a flavor like that, but it's not as, um, it's brown. It's like it, but it's a little more, um, It's sweet, like Worcestershire, Worcestershire, whatever, the W sauce. And then it's got just a little bitter hint to it. It reminds me of, um, this really reminds me of, um, I think Heinz 57 steak sauce. It reminds me of that. Oh, that's good. I definitely will be trying it. Last thing is this box. There's a guess right there. I was surprised this came today. Like I said, it, it wasn't scheduled till Friday. So I'm actually excited it is today. These are all the pinball parts or not, I actually have. Yeah. That made a dog park. He did apparel. I have no idea why this is in a bag. Because it will never be in a bag again. I can guarantee it. I have no idea why it's in a bag. It says waterproof bag. Reuse it for your next travel. Oh, yes. You know, 
7.4 volt. Um, a USB cable. I don't, it's not the C, it's got the bigger end on it, like Apple. I don't think that's C. That is, it's not USB C. It's got the bigger end on it. I will try to show you. Let's get a wrapper around the cord that's coming off. Rubber band on it. Um, this end. Whatever that is. I know it's not C. Because this is just a regular USB end. It plugs into there. Like that. Like my dad would say, this is the battery. So this is at 65 percent. Oh, figures. You get to focus on there. There. It's like a little LED. I'm guessing that's 65%. User manual. I hope this fits. Okay, oh. oh, let's get like another bag. Could have saved money and not put all this damn bag in there. So if you didn't guess it, it's a heated winter jacket. This is a extra large. And uh, what do you call it? Amazon kept saying that uh, medium would fit me like they know my size as you can see this is extra large and it fits me perfectly this is the on off I know Nice pockets. This is where the battery goes. Let's see how warm this puppy gets. Here's a on off. Do we have to hold it or something? It's your car keeper in here. The power button on your apparel will flash red, white, and blue. And there and turn off. Hmm. Three to five seconds, that's it. 
here. Now we're glowing red. So, um, the pair will begin to preheat for five minutes, blinking r red. It's not blinking, or is it? Oh yeah, it is blinking. There. And I can feel it getting toasty already. Pearl will begin to preheat for five minutes, blinking red. And then we'll adjust to medium heat, white. I can feel it too. It's getting warm. I can really feel it on my back the most. Supposed to be he here, I can feel a little bit. I can feel most of it on my back. There's none in the arms. And then um, you can press and hold it. And it should change the settings. But I think it's got a preheat first there. That's white. Which is medium. And then we hold it again. That's blue, which is low. Now it's off. So yeah, what do you guys think? It's a nice jacket. It's got um, adjustable sleeves. It looks to be sewn really super nice. There's a bunch of people at work that got these. It's nice, like, fleece-lined. Like, the sleeves are fleece-lined. It does got a removable hood, which I, I like. We can't have hoods at work. So, this will probably never be on as long as I'm at work. Otherwise, yeah. I want those the sleeves. The pockets I meant are like fleece lined. No heat in the arms. It's just in the, your core, your core here. But yeah, it's really nice. Um, when this video goes live, I'll put a link in the description for it. But yeah, it's a really nice jacket. It's 150 bucks. So yeah, I like it. I'll put it underneath my winter jacket. But yeah, I like it a lot. Let's see if I can get this thing off. Oh, that's getting cut off. Yeah, I think it's a real nice jacket. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is just charge this battery all the way to the top. Five. Well, it's battery in Zinzelage. German, it's written in. Battery indicator. It says fully recharged before first use. So that's what Mark's going to do. I'm going to unplug it from here. Get the 
cord back in here, zip it up, take this, plug that into there and plug it into the wall and charge it. So that's about it. It's a really nice jacket. Um, the Nusitas or whatever. There you go. V N U S T A S. It's got a removable hood, but I'll drop a link in the description for you. But yeah, I like it. We'll see how it works tomorrow at work. But anyways, yeah, that's about it. This is what I've been wanting because it gets a little cold at work, and I think this is gonna do the job very well. So um, cool stuff right here. Thumbs up. Take care and later.